everybody, thanks for joining in to Border City Rock Talk. We get the great interviews with great interviewees with sometimes a comedic touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's Travis Haley, but uh, whatever. Anyways, I'm joined with two foxes of their own in um, Rachel and Chris from Hollywood Gods and Monsters. How are you doing, ladies? Good. We are excellent. Thank you, artist. Awesome. Holy shit. Did you? I think like I think my video's off. You look like you're blonde. What the? F yes, it's it's my it's my new look. It's my wig. Travis linked it to me. Oh, oh yeah, that explains. Not on rocket. All right, <laughs> all right. So, um, speaking of uh, the former Hollywood gods and monsters uh, bass player, now that you got Rachel in to replace him, how did uh, Lexi take whoa, it? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? A replacing? No replacement. No. no. Oh, uh, oh, my you bad. You got the story wrong, my darling. Well, you know what? I've never heard of a band with two bass players. So, you know what? You guys should Actually, that. let me let me inform you okay. that Rachel is a bass player, but she's also quite the guitar player. We have two guitar players, not two bass players. See, Brian is singing in the band. He does quite a few songs and everything is so intricate with all the different smash ups that it was getting hard for him to play all the different guitar leads and sing. So we had an option to either bring in a DJ or another guitar player. Yeah. And we know this lovely young lady from Travis. And uh, we- Oh, you wanna, you're a friend of Travis's? She's like his little sister. I'll let her yeah. tell her oh. story. Oh. Um, it's Travis's own fault. <laughs> okay, I, um, I can't hear you, Rachel. So what did you say? Say it again, sorry. Oh, I said, the, the way I got in this group was because I met Travis when I was 12. I was immediately a huge Steel Panther fan. Very big Lexi Fox fan. Wow. Um, and I just, he's the reason I started playing bass to begin with. He became... A very dear friend, uh, my mentor, honestly, and here I am today in his band. So. Wow! So you started following Panther at about twelve. So yeah, you've been, follow uh, yeah you've, been I know. you've been following the band for four years now. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> so so you, you you're playing guitar in the band then? Okay, yeah. and and bass at times or just guitar? Um, bass when needed. Um, okay. Trav is. I getting ready public, to have a yes. baby. I guess that's public knowledge. What? Yes. He's, oh my he's god. Pregnant. I didn't even know he was pregnant. Like that is so yes. that is well, I know they can do that shit these days, but congratulations. You know that child was gonna have some killer hair. Oh man. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, it's, come out with a wig. Yeah. <laughs> anyways. Bandana. Anyways, I digress. So okay, that's cool. Yeah, obviously I know that uh, you didn't replace uh Lexi Fox, I know, I know, I Travis, I just give me, okay, yeah, I know you didn't replace him. So, if you guys get one more person in the band, your video went down there. Your video. I'm sorry, dark. say that again. Your video went dark, uh, Chris. Oh, there we go. So, if you guys get one more person in the band, you know you're gonna be, they're gonna be taking you guys for the village people. You know that, right? I love the village people. I kind of dress like one already, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> You just, you just, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the YMCA song. I think that was the only hit they had, but I mean, they milked it. Yeah, there was one more. I can't put okay. my finger on There was one more that was pretty popular, but it wasn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The YWCA, that one. Ah! <laughs> I know. I'm just, uh, I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. I'm in a corny mood here. So, um, how many shows have you guys done now? Have you done about three? We have done, yeah, we've done two shows, actually. One in Scottsdale, Arizona, one in Hollywood at the Bourbon Room, one at Paltrow's Club, the Bourbon Room. And we're about to do our third show, uh, headlining the Marquee Theater in Tempe, Arizona, on uh, March 19th, which March is a 19th. Saturday. So please, guys, if you're seeing this and you're able to make it, get your tickets and come out and party with us. Right um, we're heading to Texas. We're heading to Colorado. Um, we've got a string of shows booked there and some more coming up in California. So it's, it's, it's slow. It's been slow going, building, building this up, mm -hmm. but, um, we just got a beautiful new bus that it has Hollywood gods and monsters on it, flames and our photo on the both sides of it. It's killer. <laughs> so we are, we are ready to travel and, uh, everything has been kind of slow going, but everything's really falling into place 
very, very nicely. So, uh, but we're excited. We're just excited to hit the road and start playing. That was awesome. So I saw the, um, was that Travis's mom that popped in the screen a second ago? You that was that? Chris. That was, that, was a little, that was boo. Come here. Yeah. Boo. Travis said, Hey, there's my mom or something that's, silly like that. That was, that's harsh, man. That's you, harsh. <laughs> you know, Travis's mom wished she was as beautiful as boo. <laughs> Ooh, I hope she's not watching. I mean, well, there's a good chance she isn't because I only have. I've never actually met Travis's mom, so I really can't say. But okay. I'm my dog. My I think my dog is the most beautiful thing in the entire world. So. It was very pretty. I wish I was as beautiful as Boo. Well, just try a new wig, Chris. You know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you guys doing any? Um, so he's working on a new smash up of uh, what? For the people that don't know, um, they obviously are starting to hear about the band, but they haven't delved deep. What is kind of the uh, bands that you're bringing into a song right now? Like, I mean, before we talked, it was Aerosmith and it was um, Chick and those. So any new ones you're coming in with? Blah, blah, blah. We're, we are a DJ dance band. Um, so we bring in every genre of music, as we've told you before in past interviews, country, rock, metal, pop, um, even some EDM. Uh, you're going to get a, just a... a, a a bunch of songs from all different genres of music smash into one song. We've been bringing in a lot. We're, we're working on EDM. Uh, we're definitely putting together a disco uh, smash up set. Wow. So uh, bringing back some Cool in the Gang, Commodores, um, all that good stuff. Back Commodores? In the 70s and Were, 80s. Weren't they the thing that came before the Atari? Yeah, they were actually before the Atari. Some people may not even rem remember what an Atari was. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, for sure. But um, we got some, yeah, we got a lot of good, uh, good different country artists. We brought in some Keith Urban, um, uh, Florida, Georgia line, as you know. Um, we're just trying to, we're, we're trying to make it so everybody that comes to our shows gets, gets their love, the love of their favorite genre of music out of it. So we're just trying to be very versatile. Right on, right on. So um, for people that don't know, in the band, you've got Brian, you've got Danny, you've got Travis Haley, you got Diggity Diggity Dave, you got Seven. Oh, right. Um, was there any thought when you guys, hey, Rachel, was there any thought of um, you going by soda? Me? No, Rachel. Rachel? What? Soda. That's the other name that George Cassandra was going to name a kid. Oh my God, he was gonna. So, so she's lost. Okay, I know. I'm I'm yeah. I don't. Uh, George, okay, okay. Uh, Seinfeld. George okay. Costanza was gonna name his daughter Seven, and so we talked about that last time. Okay. The last time we interviewed with Ernest, we were talking about that, and so the other daughter was gonna be named Soda, but we actually call her. Diggs calls her three and a half. Um, it's probably because you're what under four feet tall. That and, and, and that's half of seven. Oh, holy, you know what? I didn't get that. And actually, I'd have to check on the calculator up in Canada to make sure. That's good. That's good, Dave. That's good. She is my, she is my hands down. She's my little sis. I love this girl so much. I cannot wait to hit the stage with her. We're going to have so much fun. So much fun. So what, what's your favorite song? Um, actually, like, yeah, you guys do have titles for these, these smash-ups. What's your favorite song so far? Um, or have you, have you been doing rehearsing with the, uh, the band, Rachel? Uh, my first full one is actually tomorrow. Um, yeah. I've been sitting down with Brian here and there, just hammering out parts, make, you know, so I'm really comfortable walking in practice. Right. But I would say, I think I do have a favorite already. I think it's um, Stroke the Family Grind. That's fine. Is it really? Yeah. I, that's my favorite. Oh, my God. It's good. That's, that's good crazy. One. I had no idea. Yeah. That's the one I listened to on repeat. I love part. that Even song. before I met Chris and Diggs, like, obviously, you know, I was a fan of Travis. So when the band came out, I was listening to them. But that was always a song I had playing in the car and everything. So. We use Mickey Avalon's uh, version in it. Oh wow, that shit! That's yeah. gonna sound so great. Are you guys, wow. you guys wow. gonna be doing a mm, merchant video? I told you I'm tired. Are you guys gonna be doing a, any kind of a video for uh, to be uploading anytime soon? We are planning on doing a video. Um, and and Diggs, you know, he's a creative genius and just gonna he, say he's the I mean, one that he's the one that does all of our uh, puts all of our smash ups together. I call him Dr. Frankenstein. Nice. And uh, and actually on the front of our bus it's gonna say we we, we haven't decided that this is the monster mansion or or 
the Frankenstein. That's what we're going to name our bus, but I call him Dr. Frankenstein. And he already has a great idea for a video. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, Kate. Um, yeah. That movie was excellent. If you guys haven't seen it, you got to see that movie. But anyway, it's kind of Kate-ish. And, uh, it's, but it's going to be dope. I don't want to give too much away, though. Okay, okay. So, um, what was I going to say? Okay, um, so, so Travis is having, a, he's the, he is expecting, and this is public knowledge? Yeah, yeah, it's not, I know. Yeah, public knowledge. Is anybody it's, yet? Not, it's not a secret. Yeah, no. No, well, it was a secret until you told me. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, um, he's, he's actually married, and he, yeah. they, they've been planning this for a long time. Yeah. yeah, they've been really trying, so. Oh, my God, that's going to be, that's going to be super good clickbait. I think uh, my server is going to go down. Yeah, Lexi <laughs> Fox is having a baby. You said it, so. Yeah, right on. So, um, how long ago did they approach you, Rachel? And how long did it take for you to say yes? Um, I think I met, I think I met a big, like, Months ago? Two months ago? No, like over four around. That's like a rough estimate. Um, okay. and then I came to LA to see them and just hang out, and it was just like immediate. Just we like, thought we all fell in love with each other. And I'm from I'm lived up until three days ago. I was living in Philadelphia. That's she just from. moved all the way across the country to join our band. Oh, the city of brotherly love to what's Phoenix's catch phrase? I have no idea. Is it like Valley of the Sun? It's not a it's Valley of the F and hell heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So okay. So yeah, you moved all the way across Philly. Well, I mean, the, you, you can't go wrong. The, if the band doesn't work out, you got good weather, right? I got a beautiful house and killer new friends. So I'm happy. Right on. So we is that uh, here? Everybody loves her. So is everybody basing out of uh, Phoenix right now, or is um, some of the guys still uh, uh, in LA? The only one that's not living here is Travis. He's mm -hmm. still in Colorado. Oh, he's in Colorado. Yeah, he's in Denver. That's awesome. I mean, that's great. I just interviewed Jack Russell, the Great White, and that's where he lives. I love Jack Russell. I know, for sure. And they named a dog after him. <laughs> <laughs> so, or did Jack Russell get named after a dog? I forget what I asked him, but it was kind of corny. But yeah, he says, yeah. He says, is that the first time you didn't know? So <laughs> anyways, um, okay. So I'll let you uh, girls go. This is great, Chad. And I just had to meet the... Uh, the new bass player and confirm that uh, Lexi wasn't given the boot. I knew he wasn't and he wouldn't be, but it's great to know that um, him and his wife are expecting. Uh, I heard for some reason that that's one of the challenges faced over the last couple of years. So awesome. Congrats, Travis, uh, with all sincerity. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to name it Ernest, but anyways, <laughs> or, or soda. Or soda. Soda. He could take my name from me. Sure. <laughs> right on. Okay. So, oh shit, before I forget. Um, I know it's like you guys have a different time zone, but if you guys can crunch the numbers, what's the opposite of unsubscribe? Subscribe. All right. Do as these uh, foxes. I, I got something right. <laughs> do as these uh, do as these lovely ladies say and subscribe to the channel, so I keep getting these great interviews. And uh, can't wait for you guys to get on the road and uh, get up to Canada here. A and um okay. there's some shows and you know what we can bring you up here really easy because i'm right on the border with your fine country so you don't have to go in too far maybe maybe 30 or 40 meters or 120 feet and it's not that cold once you get there so we can keep i going. would love to go to canada and um to do some shows eh? did i say that right was that a good accent probably not anyway well, uh, <laughs> hollywood <laughs> hollywood gods and monsters dot com the letter N, not the word and, HollywoodGodsAndMonsters.com is where you guys can find us. That yeah. is awesome. And one more thing. Are you now considering my suggestion that I suggested to, to Hype and um, Travis, Lexi, uh, last time? to cha Oh, I got to bring this up too. Change the name to Hollywood Gods, Goddesses, and Monsters. You know that you're not the only person that has said that. Oh, but we know who the monsters are and we know who the gods are. Yeah, Hype did a good impersonation of the monster. That was great. So anyways, that was hilarious last time when um, Travis and um, and Hype whispered and you're like in the background, I heard that. I know. I didn't know what they said. They were whispering something and you're like, oh, and I'm like yeah. over there and I'm literally washing dishes and I'm like, I heard that. You're my no, that was, that was one of the funniest parts of the interview, actually. I didn't hear what they said either, so. 
But anyways, <laughs> ladies, you have a good night, and I'll put um, all your information to get to the website and to the Facebook page and all that stuff underneath the description bar. And uh, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. We love you, Ernest. You're the bomb. <laughs>